Hey, I'm going to do a quick review on uh, this Motor City clear coat. And uh, I use some Autobahn, like special paint, just some cheap stuff. But uh, for the price of this uh, this clear coat, it's, uh, it's actually really, really good, I think. Like compared to some of the other brands. I heard Matrix really good too, but I've, I haven't used any of that. I'm probably going to use that next time, but... Uh, this is just the Motor City Clear Coat by Transtar, the 8121 and the 8146 activator. And uh, I'll show you how well it uh, it worked. Like, this is without wet sanding anything or anything like that. It's just how it turned out. And this is in my garage, too. It's got dust all over it now. but And there's a few bugs in it because it just is what it is, like mosquitoes, but... They should wet sand out, like they're not bad or anything, there's a little one right there, and that's about it. There's two more over here, but they should wet sand out, I'm not worried about those. But uh, for the most part, it comes out pretty pretty shiny without having to do anything to it at all. Looks pretty good. On bigger things, it's it probably needs to be more wet sanded than anything, but... This is just the initial, this is like, I it sat for about a day and a half now to dry, but at least that's how long I, I let it sit before I wet sand on it. And really, I'll, I'll just let it sit probably a little longer, just so it hardens more, but this, uh, this clear coat's, uh, it's like a slow activating type of clear coat or whatever you want to call it. I don't, like, I don't, it needs to be like 70 or 80 degrees for it to... Uh, to actually work pretty good. Otherwise, it runs. In my experience with it, <clears throat> I'm not like no professional painter or anything. Just some regular person. But uh, it says temperature range 75 to 90. They make different stuff that uh, dries quicker. Like it needs to be like I can't remember the temperature range. It was like 65 to like something 70 or something 65. I don't know. But, um, they make some different stuff that, uh, it'll, it'll, like, cure faster in a colder temperature. But for the most part, this stuff looks pretty good. It's like the Euro stuff or whatever you want to call it. I used some of their, uh, their primer. This, I didn't even primer this because it's a brand new fender. It's plastic. It doesn't, I, I personally don't think that it needs primered. Because, like, what am I sealing off? You know, it's like, it's, it's brand new and... There's no imperfections in it, so it would have just been a waste of time to, uh, to primer it, I think, but it, uh, it's got a really nice shine to it, minus the bugs over there. Those will come off, though. It's not meant to be perfect. Fuck, look at the garage. It's not... Not the best looking paint booth. Fuck, you had spider webs up there. Bugs flying around. <clears throat> but, uh, it turned out pretty good. I think. All I did was put on, uh, I put on three coats of, uh, black paint. And, uh, I only put on two coats. Usually I try to put on three and it runs really bad of clear. But, uh, I did what it exactly told me to do on the thing. It says, uh, what did it say for the paint? It's like 20 minutes in between or whatever to let it flash or something like that. And it's probably covered up now with paint. Yeah. I have 5 to 10 minute flash at 70. 20 minute flash at 70 for the clear coat. And then the clear, it wants you to wait. Let's see. 20 minutes, allow 5 to 20 minutes flash between coats, and it's dust free, 15 to 40 minutes, and you can sand after 8 hours. <clears throat> so, pretty much I just waited about 20 minutes in between each clear coat, and I think I waited, uh, what, did it, what was it, 10 minutes in between each one of the paints. The paints dry a lot faster than the, than the clear, the clear stays a lot more uh, liquidy, it doesn't cure as quick. <sighs> So, um, I, uh, I actually like this clear coat over some of the other brands that I've used, but, you know, honestly, this stuff's pretty durable. 
I painted the uh, the rear quarter panel on my truck. I didn't wet sand it or anything. I just scuffed it up and then I just sprayed some clear over it. I touched up some of the spots, I think, with like uh, some dupl a dupla color can that I had primered. And uh, I just cleared it. Looks great. It's got a little bit of orange peel in it, but it, uh, it doesn't have any runs or anything. And it's, it's hard as a rock. Like, so I'd recommend this stuff. Pretty good. And it's cheap. I think I only paid, uh, it's like 110 bucks for the clear coat. Something like that. On eBay. I think they got cheaper shit. But if you can find it for a really good deal. For the paint, I only paid, I think I paid 100 bucks for that gallon or something like that. Or 80, something like that. It's pretty durable paint, too. But, um, for the shine factor... If you're just looking for something that you can simply do yourself, you don't have to have a fucking paint booth or anything like that. It uh it actually looks really good. Minus the bugs. Those really kinda got me a little angry. I was trying to fight them off in the garage the whole time that I was spraying everything. And this was the last one, so I figured if they get into the last coat, it was still kinda tacky, so. They should just come right off. And I'll polish them out. These fucking gnats are just on them. On another level. With all the rain. But. Looks pretty good. To me. I'm not gonna harp on it. Probably just what's saying those little spots. This little spot. That little spot. This one and this one with some 2000. And then I'll just polish it all with some scratch X. That's what I use. I usually like to polish everything with. I just use the Scratch X 2.0. If you can see that, it works pretty good. I think it's 2.0, or this is just the regular Scratch X. Usually it says 2.0. I think they changed it just to Scratch X now. But whatever. Either or, those little things are like $8. And, uh, all I use is I got this little fucking variable speed, uh, Thing. Works good, I think. So, but yeah, that's that. I recommend getting that that clear coat for sure. If you're just like some little hobbyist doing, it's perfect for fenders and spoilers. You just got to be. You can't be too heavy with it spraying it. And shit, look at my pink gun. I got this thing from Walmart. Very basic. I use this compressor. It's a piece of turd. And everything works fine. So, I think I sprayed it like, uh, what was it? Uh, it was like, I think I usually leave it at like 30. Because you can hold it far enough. Well, at least on that, it works good. 30 PSI. And, yeah. Looks good to me.